Hello guys, this is Sandra here and here we are on my bed again. So I might have been shopping a bit recently and I say a bit, I look on my bed next to me and it's full of things. So I thought I'm going to share with you everything that I purchased. Some of these just arrived today in the post in perfect timing. So without further blubbering, let's go ahead as there's quite a bit of stuff to go through. I think first we should go through some bits that are not as exciting. I went to a shop called, hold on, what is it called? Nature, in, as nature intended, I think, or something like that. It's a mostly natural, organic, vegan, sort of friendly shop. And they do a lot of adjacent products. And I know that Rebecca Morgan is always talking about the brand, so I thought I will give them a go. The first thing I got is the Jason Soothing Aloe Vera Deodorant Stick and I got this because I only have one deodorant at the moment but that's a crystal one so you have to wet that and then apply it to your armpits which is fine, it's right by my sink but sometimes it's a bit faffy or I have to run out of the door and just spray some perfume on and then run so if I keep this next to my perfume it's easier, I don't have to wet it or anything like that Oh, it has a sticker on it so I can't smell it Um. Yeah, so I thought it might be just easier to have an actual stick as well, rather than just the crystal one. And let me give this a sniff. There was another one that was a lavender, but lavender always reminds me of like, well, in my mind, it's like an older lady scent. And not in a bad way, but I don't really like lavender scent much. At least not as like a perfume or deodorant. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie. This one smells a bit like a toilet refresher. But we'll see. Oh, it's really nice and creamy. The texture I like. So let's see. I hope the smell doesn't linger really. But if it's, it's promising to keep all the odor protection. So as long as it keeps me smelling nice, I will be fine with it if... The scent doesn't linger for too long. They also had a... What was the other one? A tea tree oil? I wasn't too sure about that scent. So I went with this one and hopefully it's going to work nice. Another fairly, you know, unexciting purchase is the Jason Power Smile Whitening Paste. And this is definitely something I heard Rebecca talking about before. It's... Like the box is huge. I'm not sure how big it's toothpaste in there that's quite a big tub as well and I'm just in the last bits of my toothpaste and I thought this could be just nice to try and see how I get on with it and well it's a toothpaste there's not that much to say about that and the last purchase I've got in that shop is the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile soap Um, I got this time one that's called what is it called oh baby mild which i'm not sure if it's any milder in scent than the other ones i'm pretty sure there's a foil on it yes i can smell it at the moment um but i thought i'm gonna try this one this time i'm not sure if the scent is the only thing that's different with this or it's actually milder now i use this stuff to clean my brushes as most people on youtube do and in this shop it came in three sizes there was a smaller one this was one was the middle one and there was a giant one and at the moment I'm using the rose one which is really really nice and before that I think I had was it peppermint or tea tree oil or something like that and yeah there's a bigger one as well I think this one is 473 milliliters I think the big one is like a liter maybe but I didn't really exactly need it that much so I thought I'm gonna go with this size and if I like it, maybe next time I can get the big one. But to be fair, this one lasts quite a long time. So the way you use it is you use one portion of this and then I think four portions of water. So you do mix it together and it's perfect to clean your brushes. It keeps them really, really clean. And in the past, I was not too sure about it. I felt like it's really brushing and um, really drying my brushes out until I noticed that it's because I didn't dilute it with water. I didn't really know. I'm not sure why, I'm pretty sure it says on the side. And also you can use it for your face, for your body, for your hair. You can use it to shave. 
Oh, you can use it as a travel toothpaste actually. So it says put one drop of soap on your toothbrush, dip in a cup of water, brush your teeth as usual. Hmm. Okay. And you can also use it for your laundry. So I'm not sure if I would like to clean my brush my teeth with it. But anyway, I use it only for my brushes. Maybe I can try to dilute it for my body and see if I like it because in the past I was not a big fan of it. But maybe, maybe, I don't know. I just find it a bit drying. But now that I know that I have to just use the tiniest bit, maybe I will like it. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it for my brushes anyway. That's the main reason I bought it and it's amazing. It's vegan, it's cruelty free. And again, pure genius. It lasts for ages as well. And while we are at the topic of brushes, I placed a smaller order with Sigma. And the first thing I got is a repurchase of my 3D HD blender. I'm not too sure what DHD stands for. Um, the only thing I don't understand is why it comes in such a huge box. This is one of the packages that just arrived today. Let me see if I can find my scissors. There we go. And it's such a huge box for such a tiny, tiny blender. I really don't know why it has to be so big, the packaging just a bit too bulky I mean that big box for such a tiny sponge I don't know why they do that I really don't know and obviously it gets bigger once you soak it in water and it comes in the typical Sigma pink color or in the black one and I just prefer the black one and as you can see it's a slightly different shape to the beauty blender it has an edge there but then so it has two flat sides well three if you count the bottom but then it has a round its side here and a really nice tip that just goes nicely under the eyes. I'm pretty sure if you've seen any of my makeup videos then you've seen me using one like this before. And that's just getting a bit used up so I thought I'll pick this up. And the reason why I placed an order with Sigma is because they had free shipping. I think it was for the 4th of July. They offered free shipping for about a week or so and I thought I might as well then otherwise it can get quite pricey to ship Sigma to the UK so yay free shipping <laughs> then I ordered three brushes one of them is the E40 tapered blending brush and in my opinion you can never have enough blending brushes for your eyes I constantly use them every single day I do my makeup which is about four or five sometimes six times a week so oh I can't get in here but yeah this means that because I do my makeup so often I go through my brushes quite often as well I would say I probably wash my brushes every two weeks so I just collect them in like a little plastic tray and then once I have enough I just go and wash them and this is what it looks like it's a bit bigger than I anticipated I'm not gonna lie but to just fluff uh, just a fluff uh, color in my crease is gonna be perfect I can talk today oh it's so soft as well really soft so this is the E40 this is one of their best-selling brushes and I can see why if you just want to blend a transition color in your crease for that it is quite a good size it's really really soft and Sigma brushes in general are pretty good quality then the next brush I should have cut these before shouldn't I oh bad bad youtuber I am so the next brush is the E68 and this one is a liner brush I think they called it's called yeah, the Line Perfector. Again, most of these Sigma brushes are always a bit bigger than I expect them to be. But it's alright. It's actually really nice and stiff. That's what she said. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just basically an angled brush. And you can use it for liner. You can use it to smudge out a liner. You could even probably use it for your brows if you wanted to. It's quite a good one. And then the last one that I got is the EO4 Lash Fan. And this one in particular I got because 
my friend got it so I asked her if she wants to join in and get anything at all and she wanted this for her kit and I thought that's such a good idea one you could probably just use it to apply mascara and models and then that way if it really works I'm not too sure then you can reduce the waste that you're producing but also it can be quite nice for creative looks either for like some sort of dry brushing technique when you just want to have little lashings of color around your eye area or if I want to do some colorful mascara looks then I can just get a mixing medium and some sort of pigment or just a bit of um, just a bit of eyeshadow and then create my own colorful mascara and I can literally have any color I want and just apply it with this to my lashes I'm quite excited to see how this works it seems really nice and firm also it's really cute like how tiny is that fan it's just the cutest thing but um yeah so this was influenced by my friend Mihaela this is because of you and that's it that's all I ordered from Sigma and usually when you place an order they also give you a free little Sigma brush shampoo which I'm always quite happy to use up you know in addition to my castor oil so this always comes in handy next up I ordered some reusable cotton rounds from Amazon and it came in this really handy little pouch so I think I'm gonna keep this by my table and put all the dirty ones in here or maybe I just can keep it for the clean ones I haven't decided yet and I got these reusable cotton pads in there and the reason why I ordered this one is because as you can see it comes with different colors so you have blue you have yellow you have white and you have pink and I think I got 12 for yeah I have 12 in here so I thought that's quite a good number that I can use for a while before it needs using uh, needs washing and I wanted a pack with different colors specifically because I thought that I can keep a few of these for just my nails and then a few of them for my face and that way I can make a difference between which ones I use with the nail polish and which ones I used for my face I mean probably I will be able to tell because I assume nail polish you can't necessarily wash out I'm not too sure about that yet how that's gonna work if you use reusable cotton pads for your nail polish please let me know how you clean them because I don't think a simple wash will wash it out will it I can't imagine it will do you have to soak it then in nail polish remover or how does that work I really don't know but I thought these are quite nice and usually typically I remove my makeup with some bigger towels they are still really really soft and I just use a balm and then wipe away with a wet cloth but this can be quite a nice alternative too also I can use this when I use micellar water or with my face tonic this is quite a good option as well so I'm quite chuffed with these and they feel super super soft I will link it below it's an Amazon link so you can check it out for yourself I think it was around the six pound mark am I being funny now I'm pretty sure it was around six pounds so I thought that's quite a good deal and it comes in a handy little pouch next I have two book related things one of them is an actual book and this is called the good girl's guide to murder by Holly Jackson this is what it looks like and I am in love with this book I bought it last week and I may or may not stayed up till half two last night to finish it <laughs> I was just so close and basically it's about a closed case where everyone seems to know who murdered a girl in town but there's this one girl who believes that the person who is actually set to kill the girl is innocent and that person is actually dead as well so possibly it might be a double homicide no one really knows but she's determined to find out for a school project and I loved it I mean I got it last week and I'm already finished so that says a lot about it and I really 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 enjoyed this book I took it with me and read it on the book every morning when I was going to work and it's just such a smartly written book at many points I thought that oh no I know for sure now who killed the girl and it turned out to be wrong and 
it just kept me on my toes. You never really knew. There were always new turns and twists that she discovered. And it was really, really good. Also, when I bought this book, the girl who was putting through my purchase at Waterstones, which, uh, if you don't know in the UK, is just a bookshop. She told me that if I really like this book, then there's another book that she recommends to me. She was so, so sweet. And she wrote it down in a piece of paper, which I think I have on my table. She said it's quite a similar story to this. All right, we're back in action. My camera just died. So what I was saying is that I actually love having a physical book and going into the bookshop and talking to people. Even though I love my Kindle, it's just not quite the same. And if I have any books that I feel like I don't want to read anymore, then I put them together in a bag and take it to a charity shop. But this one will definitely stay with me. And I will give it to friends and family so they can have a read too because it's just so, so good. While I was in the bookshop, I've seen this bookmark and I just couldn't leave it there. So it has a quite unusual shape and I have to say, I have to figure out how to use this properly because I feel like quite a few times it just slid out of my book. But usually I put it here sideways so it can mark where I am. And I'm pretty sure that's the way to use it, but anyway, I will still keep using it because it's so cute. Look! It's Harry Potter on a broom! Isn't that the cutest bookmark you've ever seen? And I'm pretty sure I've seen it last time too, I didn't get it. And this time, to be fair, first I didn't get the book either. We were on our way to the cinema and we still had a bit of time to kill, so we went into the bookshop, as you do. And I wanted to walk out with empty hands, but whenever I go into a bookshop, it just never really happens. And we walked out because my boyfriend kept telling me how I don't need more books, which is completely true, by the way. Like, he's not a bully. I have a lot of books that I haven't read yet, but I just can't help myself. So we walked out and I was just using my puppy eyes and I, I wanted to go back. <laughs> so we did and I bought myself a book and this Harry Potter bookmark. And I can already see how cute it's going to be when I'm rereading Harry Potter and I put this in there and it just got so fitting. While we are talking about how much of an adult I am, let me show you a purchase from today. I went into Primark and I got a few clothing bits, but the one I want to talk about is these. Look at them! So my favourite Disney movie growing up was The 101 Dalmatians and I wasn't talking, I wasn't thinking about talking about socks today. And it's not really the socks themselves that are exciting, but it's just the pattern. How cute is that? And Primark is really good when it comes to like Disney related patterns and things. And I've just seen this. Apparently my mum told me that 101 Dalmatians was the first ever movie that I've seen in the cinema. As in like the actual Disney movie, not like the live version. And I really, really, really liked it. I easily get sucked in into anything that has dogs in it to start with, but since this is my favorite Disney movie, I've seen it 120 times, if not more. I loved it, and I just, I just, I couldn't resist, okay? It was only like £2.50, and we all use socks, so good purchase in my books. Also, I've seen this magazine when we were on holiday, but in Hungary, everything that's in a different language is quite pricey, which makes sense. They have to ship it there and all that, blah, blah. So it's a lot more expensive. So I didn't want to buy it there. But then I finally, finally found it here. I tried to find it before. I couldn't. And I finally found it. It's the National Geographic Cats and Dogs edition. So I think it's like a special edition because it says celebrating our best friends. So I'm pretty sure it's a special edition of the magazine. And inside it talks about how pets' minds works and also the evolution of cats and dogs, apparently. And I just had to. When I was a kid, fun fact. I used to read a lot of... Oh, what were they called? There was a series of books that were talking about dinosaurs and like ancient histories and volcanoes and different kinds of animals. I think it was called Who? Or Who's Who? Or What's What? Or something along those lines. And all the books that were about animals I read. Basically about... It was about fish, it was about mammals, it was about animals that went extinct. I 
that's why I got sucked into this one as well. So we all know what I'm going to read next. <laughs> okay, that's enough about reading material. The next bits are makeup and skincare related. So what should we start with? Let's start with the Lush. I think I only have one Lush product in here. Do I have two? No, I think I have one. So I already had this tin case at home. If you're not familiar with Lush's products, they have a few shampoo and conditioner bars. So basically you leather them up between your hands and or you can massage it straight into your scalp. But I like to leather them up between my hands and then just, you know, put it all into my hair. And I got a new shampoo bar, which I kept the label so I can tell you which one it is. This is the Angel Hair Shampoo Bar. And it smells quite strong. It smells really, really nice. It's beautiful, it's pink, and it has a plant on it, which I'm not too sure what plant it is, but never mind. Uh, before that, I had a blue one, which I'm not too sure what it's called. I think it's like the sea salt something. I had that one and I really liked it. I also had the honey one, which was amazing for hydration, but I thought this time I'm gonna try this one. And I also have a conditioner bar at home. Now that one I don't really get on well with. So sometimes I use it with my brushes if I feel like they're a bit dry. Then I swirl it around on that. And yeah, basically I'm just using it to condition my brushes. Because for my hair I just feel like it takes way too long to build up. And I don't feel like it's worth the faff. And also I don't want to stand in the shower just for 10 minutes trying to leather it up so I can put enough in my hair. That one is just not for me, but I love the shampoo bars and I thought I'm going to try out this one. I almost forgot. I got a body conditioner as well from Lush, well, a body cream, a body lotion, sorry. And it's the Sleepy Body Lotion. And funnily enough, this has oatmeal infusion and lavender flower in it. And usually I'm not a big fan of lavender, but this smells quite good. Oh, interesting. Look, it has like these white bits on the packaging. What is that about? I like a silvery bit. I mean I just bought it like two days ago so I'm sure it's fine. It smells just like in a shop and I think because the lavender is mixed with oatmeal in this it smells a bit sweeter so I quite like it and I bought the small tub because it's quite expensive and first I wanted to make sure that it will work on my body before I actually invest in a big size and that's it. This product was made by Nathan, so thank you Nathan, perfect. The next thing is from Estee Lauder, and Estee Lauder is not cruelty free. This is the Advanced Night Repair Oil, or whatever it is, and I got this from work. So I'm gonna use it up. This is like the medium size, I think there's like a small, a medium and a big. We got the medium one, so again, I didn't pay for this, I got it from work. I don't think they were supposed to send it to me. I don't work for Estee Lauder, I work for one of the Estee Lauder companies, but I don't specifically work for Estee Lauder. So, I don't think they were supposed to send it to us, but we asked them if, the, if we have to send it back or what it's about. We never got an answer, so I thought, you know what, it'd be a month ago, I might as well just use it. So I'm gonna put it in my night routine. I think my skin is always happy for a bit of extra hydration. And I actually never tried this, so at least I will know what the fuss is all about. And I, if I really like it, I can see if maybe I can find a good cruelty-free option for this. And I don't know if I said this in my videos before, I only purchase cruelty-free bits. But if someone is getting me anything that's not cruelty free as a present or again if work sends me some stuff I'm gonna use it up. I already got it. There's not much point in just chucking it away. And also that helps me if I like the product it helps me to find cruelty free alternatives that then maybe other people can use and also I can love and use after it. So that's my stance on it but with my own money I only purchase things that are actually cruelty free. The next Bit, as far as skincare goes is the pixie vitamin c tonic and i have the glow tonic from pixie and when i went to the shop to repurchase this they were right next to each other and i was looking at the claims and 
They are both supposed to be doing the same thing. The only difference is that this one is boosted with vitamin C as well, as far as I can tell. It's still a brightening tonic and it still has fruit extracts to exfoliate your skin and that's what the other one is doing as well. And I really quite like that. I prefer chemical exfoliants as opposed to physical ones. Although I was thinking lately of maybe switching back to it just to see, but I quite like this. Depending on my skin, I use this either every morning and evening or just every morning or every second day, depending on how I feel my skin needs a bit of exfoliation and boosting. So I don't necessarily use it every single day, but I thought I will give this one a try instead of the regular glow tonic and see if I can notice any difference, if it's any better or worse. I don't really know. If you tried both of these, what do you think? Is there any difference between the two? Is it just vitamin C as an added ex ingredient? I was not too sure. But, mm. yeah. I'm almost finished with my other one. So, hence I purchased a new one. Now, let's move on to makeup. I have two items from Charlotte... No, I have two <laughs> items from Becca. And I think four items from Charlotte Tilbury. So, the first item from Becca is... The Ombre Rouge palette, which is this beautiful, warm-toned, just nudes. I mean, a lot of people might say there's nothing special about it. And to be fair, the only shade I don't really think I have in my collection is this pinky nude. Although there's a shade now in the Charlotte Tilbury palette I bought that's really similar, but we're going to move on to it later. But I wanted this palette for a really, really long time. And I had a John Lewis voucher, so I thought I might as well spend it on this palette, and I'm happy I did. I'm really, really happy with it. The quality is really nice. They blend amazingly. And I like having neutral palettes just because I always feel like I have so many colourful palettes that these are always a nice and handy sort of side palette to use it in conjunction with those. And I don't mind reaching into a few palettes to finish an eye look if I want to. And this is definitely a nice staple, and I wanted it for a long time. So, here we go. The other product, I actually got it from work, so I didn't purchase this myself. But this is the Skin Love Foundation in the shade Cashmere. And I already use this foundation, I have a darker shade from this. This is more like my winter shade, whereas the other one is more my summer shade. The other one is in the shade Buttercup. This one is in the shade Cashmere and it's about a medium to buildable coverage foundation with skincare ingredients in there as well. And I really, really like this. It sits so nice on my skin. And I think the best way actually to apply it is with a brush. I sometimes use it as a sponge, but I think the way you get the most coverage out of it is with a brush. And I have nothing bad to say about this. I think if you've seen my favorites video, then I will, I definitely talk about this foundation in there, so I will link that up in the cards so you can check it out. Actually, I think it's that corner, but never mind. I really, really like this. It's a really amazing foundation. The rest of the bits are all from Charlotte Tilbury. The first thing I got is the Brow Lift Pencil in the shade Naomi. This is the darkest eyebrow pencil they do. I believe this is the one I'm wearing in my brows at the moment. And on one end it has the actual eyebrow pencil. Then on the other end it has a really handy spoolie. And there's a bit that I never knew about before. You can actually screw it off and then it also has a little under eye, under eye no, brow bone highlight as well which I think is quite a nice touch, especially when you pay premium price for an eyebrow pencil. I think this is around a £20 mark. And if you... I'm pretty sure that video will be up by now. I did like a get event ready with me sort of video where I went to a Charlotte Tilbury masterclass. So that's why I got these few bits that I have here. And I am trying to see and figure out what brow product products I like best and I haven't used a pencil in a while but this seemed to have a nice colour and yeah I just sort of try it and so far I quite like it. Next up is a product I wanted for the longest time now. I swatched it once on my hand and it was amazing. It's again the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand and it's in the fair to medium shade. I used this on me 
again in this makeup and there will be a tutorial up and it's just a really nice sort of grey brown shade perfect for contouring if you are more of a fair skin tone you can also buy the darker one which will be more of a bit of a bronzy colour on the face and also what I found really handy is that you can actually open and close it if you twist to the top and I think it's quite good when you're traveling at least you can't just squeeze loads of product out of it and waste half of it in the cap also I'm not sure everyone will like it that it comes with a little sponge applicator it's sort of similar to her new concealers or like the Maybelline age rewind concealer that sort of spongy applicator but I don't really mind and I think it actually glides on really nice to the skin and it blends in amazing I I have nothing bad to say about this product. I love this. I have two more products left. One of them is a lipstick in the shade Amazing Amal. And it's a beautiful sort of pinky purpley shade. It's still fairly nude. It's not too dark. And I broke this. <laughs> which I was a bit pissed about. I'm not gonna lie. When you spend this much money, you don't want it to be broken. I just, I just opened it and it fell out I don't know what happened but the good thing about these lipsticks is that the cases are refillable so you can keep the case and just get a refill that way you don't waste that much plastic and also the packaging is beautiful now there's another packaging that I prefer to this which is like this sort of cheetah or like leopard print that's beautiful I quite want that in my collection but this is quite nice as well it feels really luxe and heavy and weighted and also Parts of these go to a charity. Let me actually look it up quickly what charity. Okay, so this is part of a new Hot Lips collection. And let me just read it what it says on the website. That's the easiest. So it says, this is the ultimate empowering collaboration with Women for Women International to inspire lipstick confidence and change lives with a truly magical 1 million pledge of Hot Lips sales to the incredible charity. Join Charlotte's Happy Kiss Chase by sharing your photo using Happy Kiss Tech Charlotte Tilbury makeup and Women for Women. So you can also share this story on Instagram with a kissy picture, which is quite nice. And oh, your gorgeous images will feature on my Kiss Cam Gallery, and you will enter the weekly competition to win the Hot Lips collection and my limited edition Hot Lips merchandise. That's quite nice. So I think this one is actually part of the limited edition lipsticks, but you can always get like the regular line in refills, I, as far as I know. And again, this goes to the Women for Women charity, which is always really nice. So, you know, you have an excuse. A lot of money goes to charity from this, so you might as well get shopping. <laughs> I'm the worst influence ever. And the last item is something I'm really excited about. I had my eyes on this for quite a while now. And also, I'm wearing it on my eyes today. Again, I will have a whole tutorial but I'm trying quite a few of these new bits. But this is the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. And it's beautiful. I mean, can we just take a second to look at those gorgeous colours? They are just truly wonderful and I used Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes before. I don't own any of them but I tried a few of them in makeup school already. So I know that they blend amazingly and the pigmentation is there. Also, the packaging is always pretty with Charlotte Tilbury. So that's all I got. I'm looking at the giant mess next to me that I now have to clean up. But yeah. That's all the things I purchased recently and I'm really happy and excited to try all these things even though it's like a deodorant or a toothpaste but especially the makeup and the skincare again the book I can only recommend it and I'm sure I will talk about quite a few of these in either a tutorial type of video or I don't know favorites whatever I'm sure I will have feedback on these but for now I'm gonna go as this video is already I imagine quite long and I have nothing else to talk about also I'm getting a bit tired which means my English is getting a bit slower and a bit more broken by the minute so I'm gonna go till I can still talk and hopefully I will see you next time if you like this video please give it a thumbs up 
and I hope you consider subscribing to my channel there's a lot of beauty talk around here and yeah I would be really grateful and thankful and it would make me insanely insanely happy if we could grow this little community let me know also in the comments below what have you purchased recently what are you really excited to try or if there's anything that you want to know more about let me know and I can do a bit more of an in-depth video about it. But for now, I'm going to stop rambling like I promised and I will go. Have a lovely day, guys. Bye-bye. If you could see the mess around me, it's it's a lot. So the last skincare here is the... Is the... <laughs>